Earth, our home. Every moment in the history of humanity occurred on this tiny blue dot. The Earth itself is 4.5 billion years old, forged by space dust the size of mountains, asteroids and moons, fused together by gravity over millions of years. In the planet's core, materials compressed so tightly that fusion was able to take place, warming the core to give us a magnetic field and tectonic plates. Meteorites containing ice and exotic materials helped us fill the oceans, which built our atmosphere, bringing us microscopic bacteria, leading to life itself. Just as the Earth was experiencing its first day 4.5 billion years ago, still fractures and hot from constant meteorite impacts and volcanic activity, it was locked in a deadly orbit with another young planet named Theia, a Mars-sized planet. Spinning around each other, getting closer and closer, until one day, an inevitable collision occurred that nearly destroyed Earth completely. A planetary collision of truly devastating, world-ending results, ripping apart the Earth's surface and exposing its magma core. Compared to Earth, Theia wasn't so lucky, wiping out the planet entirely due to its slightly smaller size. Over time though, something amazing happened. Materials that were flung into deep space fell back into the Earth and into Theia. Theia, now less than half of its original size, stays in the grasp of Earth's gravitational pull, forming a companion, the Moon. We orbit a star in an area that we call the Habitable Zone, or the Goldilocks Zone as some may call it, an area within our solar system that's perfectly distanced from the sun, not too hot and not too cold, close enough to keep us warm and distant enough to keep us cool. When you compare our distance from the Sun to neighbouring planets like Venus and Mars. You have Venus, which is 900 degrees, hot enough to melt lead. And then you have Mars at minus 81 degrees, about 20 degrees cooler than our North Pole. Speaking of orbits, although we don't feel like we're moving, you are in fact travelling at a constant 67,000 miles around the sun every year, spinning at an average of 1,000 miles per hour on the Earth's surface, whilst the sun is being pulled around the Milky Way at 130 miles per second. When we calculate all these speeds, taking into consideration scientific observations, you are in fact travelling at about 1 million miles per hour. Think about that the next time you tell yourself you never go anywhere. <laughs>